you can hear, I'm trying to get a stable arc and it's not happening. Um, I've been going at it for a little while now. Let's see what we got. Shutting everything down. Now, bear in mind, there's capacitors in this, so you still have to discharge those capacitors. See? I mean, that was still uh, in there. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, look at that beautiful hole. That's a grade 8 bolt. Couple of seconds. The one you see here on the, on the left hand side, that was from earlier. I tried using tungsten. Unfortunately, tungsten does not work. It's not conductive. I didn't even think of that. So it's going to have to be copper or brass. And what I'm using now is actually bronze because I don't have any copper or uh, brass that diameter, which might be why I can't even get a stable arc. But again, this is in regular tap water, which isn't the best dielectric also. Uh, if I were to use oil, I'd be willing to bet you there'd also be a, a, good, a good difference. Um... But anyway, it's alive. Uh, stay tuned. Trying it without the motor turning the electrode. See what we get. Trying to maintain the distance with the CNC, it's not easy. Those sparks are violent. Something tells me. Something tells me that we're going to have to change this a little bit. I think I've got too much capacitance. It's causing too big of a bang and not often. So I think more capacitance actually bit me in the butt. All right, back to the drawing board. All right, this is what we have for holes. This is what I got with the tungsten electrode. I just couldn't get an arc to save my life. It just wouldn't hold. This was with the motor running, turning the silicon bronze electrode. And this is with the silicon bronze electrode stationary. Now I don't really see much of a difference between those two holes except for size. Obviously it turning that. It, it wasn't perfectly concentric so it's making the hole a little bigger. So I don't really see a benefit to having it turn. Um, there's a lot of swarf in this water and I'm not sure if that started to make a difference or not with the uh, conductivity. I'm guessing it did. Obviously I don't have any filtration or any kind of you know movement of this water yet and I, I should have but this was just a trial run. Uh, I just wanted to get it working to see if I needed to modify the power supply, and I do. So at least I accomplished what I was I wanted to. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna get this water moving, and we're gonna change up the power supply. What I'd like to do to show the benefit of having one of these machines is this right here is a tungsten carbide cutting bit. What I'd like to do is put a hole right through it. 
and I mean I could easily do a razor blade I mean it would have taken no time at all but I, I don't see the point of doing that I mean there's no there's no real benefit but to doing something hard like tungsten carbide I think there is a benefit to doing that so that that's the next uh, plan that we're gonna work on after we get this arc stabilized but uh, yeah that's it guys enjoy the rest of your weekend catch you later